Hey there, Mac users and Mac automators. This is Bakari Shivani with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, in this particular video, I'm going to share with you kind of like eight different methods for how I quit applications. I'm going to start with the default boring methods to the completely automatic methods. So definitely stick around and check it out. Okay, so here we are on my desktop. So I'm going to, I'm going to do is I'm going to show you got like a bit different, like eight different methods for how I quit um, applications. Now you know all about the uh, kind of boring default methods where you go to the menu bar and you kind of you know go to quit system preferences, for example, or you can use the uh, command Q um, and do that as well. But neither of these methods I, I don't like doing at all, and uh, I don't even like using the command Q because it forces me to take my hands off the main keys in order to find the uh, Q key, which I can never do without looking down. So that's kind of a waste of time as well. So one of the first one of the one method that I use is to use Alfred, and I can do this by doing the quit you know um, <clears throat> so quit to doist or quit system preferences and if I if I do the return key that will automatically quit system uh, preferences now I would do that for example if system preferences was in the background and I was working another application and I want to just kind of quickly get that application out the way so you can quit almost any application in Alfred using uh, the quit just write you know the keyword quit and then it will do that for you all right, so another way that I do it is through use what's called a better touch tool, a um, couple of methods and better touch tool with a finger gesture. And all I have to do is hold down the um, command key and a five finger click, and that will uh, force the, you know, this to, to quit like that. So uh, that's another method I do it. And then also in Better Touch Tool, it has a drawing tool and I can actually do a swipe down and sometimes it doesn't work. There you go. And swipe down that way and it will also quit uh, an application as well. So those are two methods in um, the uh, Better Touch Tool that I use there. Another one that I use is um, what's called an uh, application called Super Tab, and basically in Super Tab you can set up some uh, kind of preferences, if you will, um, to automatically quit applications or automatically hide applications um, after been, after they have been in the background for a certain amount of time. So in this case, you know, I have uh, the system preferences. If it's in the background for more than five minutes or after five minutes, it will automatically quit. I don't have to deal with it at all. And um, I think I did a video about uh, SuperTab, and so I will uh, put that uh, link in, in the video as well. So it's really, really handy for a lot of applications where you can just set the settings for when you want the application to hide or when you want the application to quit. And you can do that on any application. All right, so another one that I use, uh, another method that I use here is in, um, is in Keyboard Maestro. And basically, Keyboard Maestro can quit in a, in, in a couple of ways. Uh, first off, if I have an application, say I um, have an application, um, this application is called uh, Webcam Settings. It's an application that I open up when I'm um, working in ScreenFlow. It helps me to, you know, do my settings for my, um, for my webcam. Now, when this when this application launches, right, um, it will um, this application will open up. And when ScreenFlow launches, it will automatically open up uh, webcam settings for me. And then I have another. Um, let me see if I can find it here. Another uh, one here that when the uh, ScreenFlow quits, and I thought I had that here, but when ScreenFlow quits, I can also have it um, automatically quit this application webcam settings. And I thought I had it set up here, but I don't. But that's that's really kind of what's called an application trigger there. So when I, when, when it triggers, oh, this is it right here. So when it when it when it quits, it automatically quits this application right here. So you can set that up as well. And then also in Keyboard Maestro, the application switcher, for example, if I pull that up, um, I can quit any application by holding down on the um, on the application here, just you know, command. Um, uh, I mean, just kind of doing a left left click hold, right? And I can I can have it uh, quit. I can I can have it quit and relaunch, 
or I can have the fourth click quit and relaunch that kind of thing so I can do that from any of the applications that I have in this switcher all right so that's it for this episode of Mac automation tips hey if you found one of these tips very useful definitely click that like button below and if you're not a subscriber please subscribe because it lets me know that you're interested in this type of automation tips and strategies so thank you for listening and if you have any uh, comments questions and just, you know, some feedback. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.